and let's make sure, you know, that's always what they're going to do, interrupt me. They were just taking care of the people that they didn't like. You didn't even really need to be poor. You just had to be the Jewish people that they didn't like, the actual traditional ones, you know, the ones that were possessed, the ones that we were actually always using, you know, to, sometimes not even, sometimes not yeah, even possessed. More... The ones that we were using to just get you to hello, hello stop. Again. Stop fighting us to actually use the old customs, the old religion to actually trust in the name of God and stop thinking that money is everything. So every all the ones that decided to follow old religion and actually just, you know, not comply with the war and not sell themselves, their, their soul to, for the, you know, and went to their death defending their cause. Those are the ones that died. Those are the ones who just said, no, you're not taking my riches. And if you are going to fucking take it, God is going to fuck you up. Those are the ones who died. Kind of. They faked their death, obviously. Remember when I said, screaming in a park, that the Nazis were me? I was, I was Hitler and I was the people who got burned. Like I said, we always take turns. Those people were possessed. Anybody who ended up selling their soul to me and saying, I only answer to God, got taken, and they were possessed. I put myself through that. I took their place. This is a fucking signature move. This is what they are constantly trying to continue to make me do to people that I don't even like this so I can prove a point, and I do it constantly only when there is a point to it. I won't just fucking simply possess somebody, save that person, and then, you know, whatever, they're just going to be pieces of shit forever and whatnot. And never, you know, ever even allow anybody to, to say, oh, I was saved by God, an angel, whatever, it was her. Because they don't. So every time that they don't do that, I just take over the life. And then it's me now. So next life, when you come back, it will be me. It won't be you anymore. So it doesn't matter that you don't remember what, in which part and point it became you and when it became me. Hitler was not actually me. I possessed him when I wanted to make sure that he didn't go too far and that he actually got to a point where he killed himself. Believe me, I made him kill himself. I took care of him. Nobody did shit. Everybody was doing the best they could to continue the war for whatever reason. Nobody was actually trying to end it. It's just that it gets a lot of pressure from the public because, again, I have to interfere. Otherwise, the government are constantly stimulating you to continue to go after the war and blame the enemy for the war never ending. This is a brainwashing system. They start the war to commercialize everything that they possibly can, make as much money as they can, go to jail next life. That money's for your kids. It doesn't get taken. You, your kids did not commit the crime. It was you, even though your kids are you and you know it. Let's continue to watch the movie. He said the general paralysis of the national instinct to self-preservation, begun by Freemasonry, is transmitted to the masses of society by the press. <laughs> so this guy just came in. The guy that just came in is actually the In 1933, Gore, the president of the Reichstag, was in agreement. He said that him. there was no place for Freemasonry in National in Socialist South. Germany. In 1934, the Ministry of the Interior ordered that Freemasonry be disbanded and all lodges and property be seized. They were prohibited from holding government office. Here, we can see the clear fear of the Nazi party that the power of a secret society was so big it needed curtailing. Had they not been so powerful, and had there not been some evidence of their involvement in various revolutions, then there may not have been a case. But the fact remains, many Freemasons were proud of their revolutionary heritage. Men in power were very often also Freemasons, yeah, but and Freemasons very often gained power. It is and men very often have egos. They know it. They know it. That's why they're so keen on lineage and bloodline. 
Nazis even created Freemason concentration camps to deal with dissidents who were forced to wear an inverted red triangle. By 1935, Hitler ordered the full dissolution of all Masonic lodges in Germany and accused them and the Jews in conspiring to create a world republic. We're investigating the murder of a local resident. So what do they do? They create a fake... Are there any ongoing disputes with you know, anyone at all? Fake fight. Disputes. The Freemason. Freemasons. You know what folk are saying. Someone's targeting strike help in mind. fund it's the war. It's changing. Yeah. Because it is under. I know the potential to inflame divisions in the community. This place remembers. When my home smells fresh, I feel at ease. Oh, look at which you. Which is why I use pretty litter. My friend Bryson over here, well, he could use some She's help. the crazy cat pretty lady. Crystals absorb she never has a man. She's unhappy in every level of her house. Bryson's clay Life. litter needs to be topped off. Pretty she litter is lightweight. This commercial to the tea. dust free and delivers right to my door. Perfect commercial for her. That's why I think it's funny. That she even want to be there. Pretty litter changes color, making it easy to monitor Maybe your not. cat's health. Probably Ready to make not. the switch? Go to prettylitter.ca. <laughs> In 1937, Goebbels even held an event to show all the objects seized by the state. When the war finally began, the Nazis banned Freemasonry in all countries under Nazi control, or who were even allied to them. This included Norway and France. And in each state, the Nazis again rolled out events to highlight the Mason So they had an alibi. In 1943, when Field Marshal Friedrich Paulus surrendered the German army to the Soviets at Stalingrad, Hitler denounced him as a Freemason. It is estimated that between 80,000 and 200,000 Freemasons were murdered by the Nazis. Anybody who was against the cause. Remember I said, I infiltrated them and I tried to make sure they were divided about it. A very so similar convince story the others. can be found in Mussolini's fascist Italy. We infiltrate them, possess them, and try to convince the others, stop what you're doing, this is not a good idea, stop what you're doing, you're gonna get punished, you're gonna go fucking burning hell for this shit. They don't listen, keep going. Whatever already happened, they know they're, they're doing this on a loop, whatever already happened, must still happen, we must not change history. This is a now, this is them now, then now, because I am traveling through time, every single... I see 